located 310 kilometers off Manila, is Boracay Island, one of the world's famous tourist destinations. On February 8, 2018, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte tagged the area as a cesspool, directing DENR to clean up and rehabilitate Boracay. Boracay is a cesspool. It's destroying the environment of the Republic of the Philippines and creating a disaster coming. On May 8, 2018, Executive Order No. 53 was issued creating the Boracay Interagency Task Force BIATF, who will spearhead the rehabilitation activities. On April 26, 2018, rehabilitation officially started with the following activities. Demolition of illegal structures within the 25 plus 5 meters easement in White Beach and Puka Beach. Road clearing and widening to decongest traffic. Demolition of hangover structures along the roads in compliance with a 12-meter road easement. Excavation of buried pipes. As part of the recovery of the wetlands, demolition of illegal structures was also initiated. The government partnered with the private sector to rehabilitate the westlands within Boracay. Part of the rehabilitation efforts is to ensure that the quality of water is within water quality standards. Thus, the DNR Environmental Management Bureau conducted daily water quality monitoring. The DNR also required all hotels or resorts within 50 rooms and above to have their own sewerage treatment plant or STP and clustered STPs for 49 rooms and below. After six months of non-stop and rigorous rehabilitation activities, Boracay Island reopened for tourism on October 26, 2018. Since the reopening of the island, carrying capacity of the island was strictly observed. As we approach the second year of the rehabilitation, the Boracay Interagency Task Force commits to sustain the gains and continue on with the efforts. After the success in Boracay, DNR was given another challenge, the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. After a decade of government intervention since the issuance of mandamus, deterioration of the bay's water quality continued. Alarmed over the degradation of the bay, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte ordered Secretary Roy A. Simatu of the DNR and Secretary Eduardo M. Año of the DILG to clean up Manila Bay. Kaya sabi ko kay Roy Simato, John Simato, pati si John Año, you start cleaning the Manila Bay. And it will be, they will start to clean it. The DNR, together with Secretary Año, Tourism Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat and other Mandamus Agency's members immediately convened all stakeholders to discuss the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. On January 27, 2019, the DNR led the launch of the Battle for Manila Bay, giving the green light for its rehabilitation. Immediately after the launch, the DNR and Laguna Lake Development Authority closed down airing establishments within the bay which were found violating Republic Act 9275 Clean Water Act of 2004. Believing that local executives shall be the frontliners in cleaning up esteros that drain into Manila Bay, the DNR conducted dialogue with barangay chairpersons. This is also in preparation for the massive cleanup. On March 31, 2019, the Battle for Rivers and Esteros was launched with more than 16,000 people participating in the cleanup drives. The DNR continues to tirelessly work in the following areas. About 33% of the target 40,000 establishments were inspected as of November 28, 2019. 
regular water quality monitoring in 18 selected river mouths and outfalls and 31 bathing beaches in National Capital Region. Region 3 and Region 4A is being conducted. Following the base rehabilitation in January, the coliform level in Agwawan Beach in Mariveles, Patan significantly went down to 8 from 790 MPN, prompting the DENR to declare it swimmable on April 9, 2019. From January to November 2019, combined DENR, LGUs, and Metro Manila Development Authority or MMDA cleanup drives collected 127,800 cubic meters of garbage while Department of Public Works and Highways or DPWH dredging activities generated 40,000 cubic meters of silt and debris. The DNR also launched the skimmers in Pasig River and ordered the removal of barges on the river. Delineation and demarcation of easement has started in 32 waterways in three regions. Survey and assessment of informal settler families living along waterways recorded 56,012 ISFs. 259 informal settler families from Estero de San Antonio de Abad and Estero de Magdalena were relocated in Caloocan City and Cavite City. The DNR also hired 1,142 Estero Rangers to help out in the cleanup of Esteros and collection of garbage from households along rivers and Esteros. The DNR and its employees were directed to go out of their offices to help in the cleanup of Esteros as well as conduct information, education, and communication campaign to heighten awareness and encourage participation in the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. With all these initiatives, the DNR, together with other members of the Manila Bay Task Force, is confident the Manila Bay will soon regain its former glory. Mm -hmm.